let's get to today's <laughs> daily <laughs> dish. This is a cat story for you, oh, Ron. Good. I now, like this those. cat is absolutely letting her owner know that she is not happy with this wintry walk in the snow. Look at this. Coco's owner shared the video on Instagram showing her kicking the snow and looking around with disdain and even hissing at the fresh powder. Coco's owner says they've never seen her quite so mad before. Look, she is not having it. No, she's not. I'm telling you what. First of all, I'm amazed that the cat has a leash. Cat on a leash. Cat on a leash. That is a rare treat right there. Good for you if you've done that. Uh, one of our cats will take a leech. I, I will say that, but it's not its not mine. Uh, Mowgli will not. But this one right here is taking a leech. But yeah, do they like snow? Of course not. I don't, I don't see that happening at all. You know, I saw a meme the other day that was so hilarious. It showed this cat face, and the cat was a little angry. And then it said underneath it, it said, do you want to know what your cat has named you? Oh, oh, oh. Maybe not. I mean, we name our cats, right? I'm sure the cats have a name for us, too. I and it's like, do. and it's probably like the food dude for me. I, I'd be food dude uh, because I'm the guy that feeds them. But I mean, uh, if you're out there walking them in but the that's snow, why they, love they probably got a few choice words for you. I'm sure, and they may be four letters. Yeah. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> well, you're, do you play Wordle? Yes, I just started this week. Uh, well, okay. Our camera girl well, Allie got look, me into that. Look at all of it. I love Allie, this. Stewart, everybody. Y'all Wordle people. Yes, look, yes, I love to hear. Wordle's I am. Fun. I guess I've been on the backside of the moon. I don't know where I've been. But anyway, <laughs> Wordle has taken the internet by storm. Players mm -hmm. have different strategies guessing the correct five letter word each day and each of one of them is picking the perfect the key is to pick the perfect starting word yep. so this guy on TikTok created a computer model to look through all the wordles potential five letter the words five -letter and words, determined yeah. the best starting word write it down get ready get ready Macy get ready over there later Later. The word is later. It has three consonants, two vowels, some of the most commonly used letters in the alphabet. Yeah, you so know that. There you, well, do you choose your word? I mean, how does yes, it... Yes, you do. You start off with any five-letter word. It's, it's whatever comes to your mind. What I did today, I chose break. I wanted to use like E and break A's. Break as in like break in your car? Or Either one break works your because dish. it's the same letters. But, yeah, but you're right. I mean, okay. but I did break like break your car. B-R-A-K-E, right? Okay. So, but I knew that I wanted to get the R out. R is really popular. A and E are the two vowels I want to get out to find out if I know. Because if you get, you know, if it, it doesn't show A or E, you're thinking, okay, now we've got down to three vowels. That's the, the key are the vowels. There's no doubt about that. Put as, almost put as many vowels as you can, but definitely the A and the E. That later's one. See, I, I didn't even know that was the case, and I still put down now you know, break. I had the A and the E in According there. to the TikTok guru. Who well, knows? Well, the TikTok gurus know these things. Donnie Mays, he's a TikTok kind well, of yes, a yes, kitchen he, guru. He keeps it in the kitchen. I know. He's you know? <laughs> you know. So far. I love Wordle. And of course, I just started this week, so. Well, I mean, I see everybody score, but I couldn't whip up enough interest to go, what does that mean? <laughs> does it? I really it's don't know or care. But. It's a fun word. If you're, I'm, you know, like it's a funny. I'm, I'm a meteorology major, but it's like, I'm also an English major, too. And it's like, I've always had, I've always enjoyed words. In fact, my you mom's too. favorite game was Boggle, if you remember that. I love Boggle. Where, you know, yes. you can try to find the words that are connecting right love there, all, that, all those different letters. And it's like, so we used to play that all the time. And it's like, so you just have fun with these little word games. And that's, it's a word game, so it's it fun. is. Well, yeah. this little young man's playing a word game, too. Okay. He's a second grader from Idaho, and he became a popular author. Dylan Helbig wrote a Christmas adventure in a notebook and illustrated it with colored pencils. Okay. Then, then he stuck it into a library and put it on the shelf <laughs> yes. with other kids' books. After telling his mom and dad what he did, he went back to the library yeah. they did to get it, but it was became missing. Yes. Employees of the library found the book, loved it so much, they put a barcode on it, and there are there's a wait of 55 people to check out Are little Dylan's book. He's working on a new one out about a closet that eats your jackets. Oh, Isn't, look at a that jacket in the closet. Isn't that the cutest thing? I think the, the kid is brilliant. Why didn't I ever think of that? No, seriously, my brothers and I, you know, we thought we were good comic book artists. So we, you I mean, ours were, were. ours were pitiful. He's much better. But it's like we did, we made our own comic books. I would, should have been smart enough to slide it into the library, right? But would your teachers have appreciated it? I, then? It's those Rhodes kids again. <laughs> They're up to it again. Sneaking their stuff into the library <laughs> where it doesn't belong.